Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is Navin. Uh, in this video, I just come up with a new I mean new example on CSS. Okay, this again the concept of CSS transformation, but it's a new transformation uh, of images. Okay, so let's have a look how this uh, how this works. Okay, see here, uh, I have an image uh, which is having the half text and half image. So whenever I hover on this. So it's going to slide like this. Okay, so whatever the half text is there, it's going to slide and the full screen, the full image is going to be display here. Okay, so this again a concept of CSS transformation. Uh, in this we use translate X. If you want to move any elements in our X axis, this is transform as a property and value will be translate X. So let's understand the practical example of this one. Okay, so let's have a look. So I have webstorm loaded so i just create a separate folder so for this we need one html one css and one image so let me create a directory so 06 underscore uh, css uh, let me write something called text slide on image okay text is sliding on image so i just make a name like uh, text slide on image enter so here I need to create one HTML, one CSS and one image. So I create a new HTML that is index and uh, I create one style.css, new style.css. Okay. And I need to have an image. Uh, I think it's there in my <coughs> downloads folder or I grab it from something outside. Yep. I'll just paste it here. Okay. So the image what I'm using here is this image you can just go to uh, the pixels.com and you can just download it i think in the previous videos i explained how to download the images some pixels.com so any image you can just get like this some hd image uh, now let's start so first of all title so i change the title to be uh, uh, text slide on image okay fine on image hover when you hover on the image right okay so next below this, let me write a link and style.css has been connected and below this, let's make a structure and then we'll start about CSS styles. So structure will be, let me write a division with the class called container. So in the container, I create an image tag, src food.jpg. Let's make some alt, this empty and the width and height will manage with CSS. Below this, let me write a division with the class called contain content okay so here i write some h2 tag uh, food you love okay and below this let's write a paragraph with some lorem 20 tab okay so now check this is the structure i have the whole thing is one container in that one image and the content and the h2 and the paragraph okay so let me check how this looks like so i just start with a live server live minus server space minus minus port equal to 9000 so let me start live server so started uh click on this uh this one text slide yeah i have a huge image but let's convert this like a proper uh image like this okay let's start so here go to style.css i write uh, dot container the parents uh, i say some border some 10 pixels solid red so why i'm adding border is i want to see the boundaries of it okay so border and i say width some 450 pixels okay width has been reduced let me reduce the height as well so let's say height 300 pixels so I got a height as well, but image is not fit inside of my the parent box. Uh, you can do like dot container space image. So let's say width inherit and also the height inherit inherit the same values from the parent. Okay, let's check. So it perfectly fits here and I want to keep this exactly the center of the page. So I can just write a margin auto it's come center but i want to give some space above this border so i can just write something called a 
100 pixels auto okay fine and now I don't need this border I just given border just for see the boundaries so let me remove the border now no border it's like this okay fine uh, now let's make some rounded corners so I just make it some border radius some 10 pixels but image is not rounded let me add that to image as well okay let me add slight box shadow uh, 0 and 5 pixels and 10 pixels and the black shadow yes looks good uh, and then I need this text to be over here okay so for this case if you want to position this text over here you go with the positions concept uh, I won't apply this absolute position so it depends on the parents so parent I want to be relative so first I'll make the position parent is relative okay and this whole text is having a class called content so what you do is dot container space dot content so for this content I'm gonna give the position absolute okay and where you have to position so I have to position the top 0 and left 0 corner of my parent elements so I say top 0 and the left 0 so it is there in the top 0 left 0 but you can't see that because it's a black color uh, let me change the color white color white okay uh, let me also change the font family one second let me change the font family so font family uh, Arial and sans serif okay and then uh, let me give some background color combination of background color like this so I'll just give background linear gradients I'll use some 45 degrees comma blue violet and some deep uh, pink okay this is the color and then see here the actual text has occupied only half of the division okay so it means width 50% and the height 100% let me do that so I'll do here width 50% just 50% occupy yes and the height I say height 100% so height half occupied let me give some space around because uh, there's no padding uh, let's make some padding some 10 pixels yes you got some padding but see here when I add padding padding applied but you know the width has come out uh, if you want to fix this there is uh, something called box sizing border box it fit for the borders of the parents yes looks good and also see here it is rounded over here but it is not rounded here okay let's make uh, only top left bottom uh, top left bottom left rounded so what I do is let me keep it back 100% so border radius uh, top left uh, 10 pixels and uh, right uh, 0 uh, bottom right uh, 0 and then 10 pixels so this is top left bottom left now check yes it is rounded fine looks good uh, and then this paragraph I want to increase little font size so I can do uh, dot container space dot content space p let me uh, add some font size uh, something called 18 pixels okay looks good and then okay so now setup ready uh, what I do is when I keep a cursor on top of this container this image has to be pushed left side but still see the image image is not completely display when I hover then image has moved like this so only half of the image has been displayed uh, you can do like for image I can write the transform uh, translate uh, x axis let's make only 50% so what happened see here the image has taken only half of the side but this image border radius not looks good left side mm, I can change this top left 0 
and uh, top right should be there 10 pixels bottom right should be there left again 0 yeah it's like this okay now see you have an image here actually the box is here but image is half so whenever I hover image has to be go around up to here so it means so whenever the container colon hover then the image to be moved to transform so translate x 0% so half it is moved little right side so I want to make it back to the 0% fully so when I keep a cursor yes image is shifting over there okay but I want it to be a bit slowly bit smoothly uh, if you want to make it smooth you have to give extra transition all 0 0.5 half seconds time this transformation get be affected let's check smoothly it is changing only image is moving here but thing is this text is not moving so let me make the text to push little uh, left side more so what I do this is the content so I say here so transform uh, translate x uh, some 0% it is in 0% when you hover 100% the complete text has to just move out so what I do is dot container space dot content so what I want to the content is uh, whenever I hover so transform uh, translate x 100 percentage it means it's completely move out I think it's oh it's gone here sorry it's a minus 100 percent now check what happened translate uh, it should be um, 0 percent uh, translate x 0 percent minus uh, if I make 50 okay I think it should be 50 not 50 it got to be 100 percent translate x uh, I think it should be 0 only 0 uh, let's make this 100 percent it's going this side uh, let's make it minus then going outside okay uh, then what to keep here is uh, if I say 10 percent no moment minus 10 oh uh, 50 dude something happen uh, don't do anything then where is my text oh blunder mistake dude sorry sorry uh, mistake is whenever I hover correct so whenever I hover then the content to be changed uh, sorry about this whenever I hover on the container then the content has to move like this yeah so I just make it uh, 50 it's here okay uh, minus 50 is here so when I move it yes it's moving uh, wait wait almost done uh, it's moving uh, let's make some transition all 0 0.5 seconds so it is moving but it has to fit half exactly there I think if you make some 0% then what happens yes perfect 0% okay so because anyway we have managed with the uh, the positions right left uh, top and all so if we say translate x 0% it was here whenever I pick a pick a cursor it is just push over here but thing is so you're not getting exactly this nature you know what the overflow has been hidden here so if you want to make the complete overflow effect you have to go back to the parents just say overflow hidden if you add this important property then now check yes it's perfect the, whatever the overflow for the parents is gone hidden so it works perfectly like this and you want to make some background color for the body tag uh, 
so body background color dark slate gray okay perfect uh, yeah so that's it uh, so it's working okay so that's it thank you so much for watching this video and please practice on this and we are going to come up with a new videos on the css okay so please subscribe to our channel and thank you